Let's talk about the unpredictability of the branches in the lower half of the facial artery. The only predictable part is initially it runs from the antagonial notch to the modiolus, but the branches coming off it are anything but predictable. Traditional teaching says we have an inferior labial artery near the lip border entering the vermilion, but that only happens in about 70% of the cases. Other times, there can be a labiomental artery instead, which may run horizontally or curve upwards, and some people have both. The inferior labial artery can also come from a common trunk above the modiolus, and in some patients, the lower lip is supplied mainly by mental or submental arteries, and all of these variants have different levels of anastomosis. In my own case, I have an unusual bilateral variant where my facial artery branches very proximally, creating two parallel branches along the side of my DAO. One becomes my inferior labial artery, and my submental artery is extremely prominent, and I don't have any labial mental arteries. So my anatomy looks something like this. Do you know what your anatomy looks like?